Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get this autumn makeup look. I hope you enjoy it! First of all, I'm going to prime my face with Benefit's Professional Primer. You just need a tiny pea sized amount on your finger and then you're going to blend that throughout your face. This primer is literally amazing. It makes your skin look almost airbrushed and it's such a good base for foundation. I'm going to use both Benefit's Hello Flawless Oxygen in Honey and Estee Lauder's Double Wear in Wheat because my skin tone's a bit of a weird colour at the moment. I'm just going to mix these on the back of my hand and then I'm going to use the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush to mix it in and apply it to my face. So I don't really have a method for applying foundation, I just sort of apply it all over my face, just making sure that it's nicely blended in and that there's no lines anywhere. Next I'm going to use this Tea Tree Concealer which is actually from Home Bargains and was only 79p but it's literally the best concealer I've ever used. So I just apply this to my spots and underneath my eyes. I then just lightly pat it into my skin to ensure it's blended in. powder I'm going to use which I recently dropped is Rimmel's Stay Matte in Silky Beige. So I'm just going to apply this to my face with the Real Techniques buffing brush underneath my eyes and on my T-zone and any other areas that are shiny. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes which makes them stand out and look a lot longer when you apply mascara. I'm going to prime my eyelids with this Vital Radiance Smoothing Eye Primer from Revlon. I just put a tiny bit onto my finger and then put it on my eyelids. This will make sure that the eyeshadow stays and doesn't fade throughout the day. From this Clinique palette I'm going to use the cream and the dark brown shades to do my eyeshadow and I'm going to use this Kath Kidson eyeshadow brush to apply it. I'm unsure of the exact names of the eyeshadows but I'll try and find out and put them in the description box. So first of all you start by putting the cream in the inner corners of your eyes. You don't have to use Clinique eyeshadow, you can use any other brown and cream eyeshadow. You're then going to use the brown and put it on the outer corners of your eyes. Excuse my hideous face. Don't worry about it being messy because I always do it really messily but we can tidy that up in a second. Just take a cotton bud and blend in the messy edges. Next I'm going to use Rimmel's Exaggerate Liquid Eyeliner. For the flicks you start by just drawing one line. You then just sort of colour in the flick and blend it in towards the rest of your eye. Now for the other one, it's so hard to get these even. But there you go! For mascara I'm going to use Max Factor's Clump Defy which has this really cool curved brush. I'm just going to apply a few coats of this to the top and to the bottom of my lashes. I'm going to use the Browsings Kit by Benefit to fill in my eyebrows. So starting with the wax, personally I like to create a straight edge eyebrow but you don't have to. You then apply the powder over the top of the wax. If I find my eyebrows are too dark I just go over them with a cotton bud to lighten them up a bit. I'm going to use Benefit's Highbrow and put it under the arches of my eyebrows to lift my eyebrows up. I'm also going to put it in the inner corners of my eyes to make them seem bigger. I'm then going to take Benefit's What's Up highlighter and apply it to my cheekbones. Blend it in with the other end of the highlighter and blend in my highbrow. Clinique's Blush Wear Cream Stick in Peachy Blush is such a nice cream blusher. You just apply it to your cheeks and then blend it in with your fingers. Just a finishing touch of powder 
And finally some lipstick, Max Rebel, which is such a gorgeous purple berry colour. Over the top of that I'm going to use the clear gloss from Elf's Plumping Lip Glaze. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and any comments or suggestions leave them below. Bye!